Corner here, broadcasting to all you fellow detectives from deep in the forest of Crosswind Peak. Alex, Michaela, and I have somehow found ourselves separated from the rest of the youth group. Dot, how are you live right now? There's no service up here. Oh, I'm not live. I'm just recording this to upload later when we get back to civilization. We'd like to explain what happened when the search party finds our bodies. Alex, stop it! That's so dark. Yeah, Alex, stop making it sound so bad. Well, maybe because it is. Because we're lost? What? Do you mean we're lost? I need a sword to read. All right, let's just stay calm. Don't worry, he said. I'm a great navigator. I am, on the Maps app. Oh, Alex. The Maps app? Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, sorry about the interruption. Things got a little out of hand since we just realized we're lost in the woods after becoming separated from our hiking group. No thanks to Mr. Navigator over here. And it's important we keep our heads cool and work together to make it to the top, right? Fine. I'm sorry, Mac, you're right. I wasn't a very good navigator. I'm sorry too. I shouldn't have twisted your arm so hard. Mac? Or brought up your World War II battle models. It's fine. My arm doesn't hurt that bad. <laughs> Wonderful. Now we can work on the real problem in front of us. How do we make it to the summit of Crosswind Peak? The path ahead of us splits into two directions and we have no way to know which path will lead us to the top. I don't know about you, but I feel a mystery coming on. You know what that means, we've got a case to crack. You brought your hat? Alex, I'm introducing the case, so after you gave me my phone back, we can discuss. Looks like we got a real wild one on our hands, Webtectives. Pun absolutely intended. This is a missing persons case, with the three of us as the people who are missing. How are we gonna solve the case if we're the ones who are missing? <laughs> In irrelevant detail, we need to figure out which of these two paths will lead us to the summit of Crosswind Peak. Normally, this is the part in our investigation where we would do research, but since we don't have any network coverage way out here, we've gotta do this the old fashioned way. Uh, Dot, what are you doing? What was that for? I've seen it in a movie once, so I thought it might be helpful. Well, did it work? I don't think so. Well, that's one mystery solved. Well, we've got to figure out which path to take, so any ideas? That path looks more traveled. That probably means it's being used by people heading to the top. Both paths look like they go the same direction to me, which means they both probably lead to the top, so it doesn't matter which path we choose. The wide path it is, then. Will we make it before we run out of water? Are eaten alive by wild animals? Or perhaps even worse? turn on each other? Dorothy Abigail Connor. Stay tuned to find out. It's hour two of our attempt to navigate our way to the top of the mountain and reunite with our group. Spirits remain low, especially after Alex had a panic attack over what he thought was a bear. Turns out it was simply a very large brown bush. I can hear you. In a surprising twist, the path we chose seems to be leading further away from the mountain. You mean the path Alex chose? Hey, you said both paths would lead to the top. The tension is so thick, you could cut it with- Dot, stop narrating our emergency like it's some kind Guys, of- Guys, look. TV show? We seem to have stumbled on some sort of campsite, only this one has an interesting feature. So here we are on day 12, hope you finally reel in some fish, Lord willing. I'm sorry, do you mind? I'm trying to record a vlog. Hey, can you guys keep it down back there? I'm recording. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Who are you? Oh, this must be your campsite. Well, it is only. I'm supposed to be the only one here. What's with all the cameras? Well, I'm out filming a video series on wilderness survival. Who are you exactly? Uh, Ray McKee, wilderness survival instructor. Nice to meet you, Mr. McKee. I'm Doc Connor, web detective. I'm Michaela, And I'm Alan. Well, very nice to meet you three, but I must say you guys are pretty deep out in the wilderness. But we got lost. Separated from our hiking group. We're trying to reach the summit, but we didn't take the right path. We thought any of them would take us there. Oh, that's funny. Is it though? Well, it's not funny that you guys got lost. It just reminds me of the mountaintop illustration of religion. And what is that exactly? Well, it's like this. Imagine there's a mountain and 
You know what, I can actually, I can help you guys find your way to the top. And what if I explain it on the way? Wait, you can help us? Seriously? Yeah, sure, and it won't take that long either. That's well, I can talk to you right now. Let's keep the hugs to a minimum, at least till we get to the summit. Yeah. Mm. Come on. Good idea. It's a popular analogy of world religions that imagines God at the top of a mountain. Each world religion is its own path that starts at the base of the mountain. But according to this analogy, the paths ultimately converge or meet at the top. Each religion is thus ultimately the same. But all religions aren't the same, are they? The idea is that at the base level, all religions have the same end goal, a life of peace found only by choosing good. But you're right, not all religions are the same. In fact, each of the world's religions don't reach the same mountaintop, but different mountaintops altogether. Like the Christian God and the Muslim God are not the same God, right? Exactly. Christianity leads to one God through Jesus, while Islam leads to one God through Muhammad. A few other examples include Hinduism leading to many gods and the New Age movement leading to everything's God. So in the details, world religions are not the same. Not at all. So then how do we know which path is correct? That's a great question. There's a lot of factors to consider, but let me point out one big difference between Christianity and all other world religions. The other religions of the world are similar to each other in one regard. In each, the path to reach the top is through your own good works. Christianity, though, is unique in that the path to God is only through the good works of Jesus, not yourself. Jesus is quoted in John 14, 6, as saying, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. In much the same way you expected any path to lead you to the top of Crosswind Peak, some people think that as long as you live a good life, they'll reach heaven. But according to Christianity, there's only one path to God, and that path is found in Jesus. You did it! You saved us! Uh, you're welcome? You can let go now. Oh, yeah. Sorry. As you can see from my documentation of our adventure, we made it safely back to our group thanks to our new friend, survival expert Ray McKee. And it goes without saying that I probably need to get better about reading an actual map. Here's the funny part. I'm kind of glad we got lost. It was fun meeting Mr. McKee, and he helped me realize something. This wasn't a missing persons case. It was really a case of mistaken identity. We thought all the paths were the same, but they weren't. Just like how you might think all paths lead to God, but they don't. That's the solution to this case, Web Detectives. Jesus is the only way to God. We can close the book on this case. I've got some laundry to do, so that's it for me. Remember, the truth is out there. We just gotta go find it. Catch you later. Thank you.